Brennan, why are we why are we gonna overclock our computers right now? Why are we making a video about this? Because they're too damn slow. So for those of you in the know, you know what overclocking is, but for everybody else, like the other 99% of you, uh, let me explain. All right, so you get your CPU from Intel or whomever is making your CPU these days, and it's clocked a certain way, it's at a certain speed, because they guarantee it's going to run at that speed. But you can actually make it go faster. The only problem is that the impurities in the silicon in the chip will cause it to crash once in a while. So that's why you have to give it more voltage. More voltage equals more heat. So overclocking is all about finding that fine balance between making your computer run too hot and making it run as fast as you can. I'm running a i7 at 3.2 gigahertz. Pathetic. 3.2. All right, guys. Let's talk. Here's how I do it. More clock. All right, Let's so first off. Uh, more clock. <laughs> <laughs> Freddie loves the clock. First step is to go into your BIOS. And every BIOS on each motherboard is different. But basically, you have the options to change the frequency of your CPU and change the voltage for all these different components. After we kind of get that stabilized, we're going to start honing in on the maximum voltage we can get while maintaining our temperatures where they are and the speed that's stable for that voltage. So, are you guys ready to nerd out with us? Because we're ready to nerd out with you. We're going to take a one-way trip to the BIOS. <laughs> <laughs> How do we get there, Nico? All right, you hit the delete button when you turn your computer on. But won't that just delete your computer? You have to be careful, because that's what Backspace does. I'm tapping delete to access the BIOS on this motherboard. Some motherboards uh, use different buttons. Find out which one it does for yours. I have no idea what to do. I'm gonna just start messing with stuff. Let's see. Wait! No, inform yourself. Hold on, hold on. First off, this is blowing my mind though. Having mouse control in the BIOS is something <laughs> it's pretty nice. I've never had before. Bust straight out of that easy mode in, in the upper right corner. Oh, I'm, I'm busting out right now. Exit. Bust out, slash. break out those walls, take out the safety mode. Belt. Advanced okay. mode. Oh my gosh, this is advanced. I am going to go probably into advanced. Sam, do you have any idea what you're Sam's doing? Idea what I'm going doing. to CPU configuration, because <laughs> I want to configure that CPU. So Sam's trying the first method, which is just, just poke around and just, just guess. And try which it. is, by the way, how most of us do tech support for like parents and friends. <laughs> it's like, what menu is probably the one? This one, uh, OK. And it's like, oh my gosh, you guys are computer geniuses. It's like, no, we just read things and yes. think about them. Your computer's stock 3.2 right now. <clears throat> um, it gives you a target turbo mode speed of 3.8. So basically, your computer actually runs at 3.8 when you max it out. Awesome. We're going to go higher than that. We're going to yes. take it up to 4.2 right now. All right, here's what we're going to do. Your AI overclock tuner, we're going to take that off of auto, and we're going to put that on manual. Heck yeah, I'm down. Switch over to manual Whoa. controls. All right. Whoa, both hands. Sweet. Sam, how, what's 4,200 divided by 100? Uh, 42. Think, 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 think. There you go, that's your multiplier. Turbo ratio. All right, manual turbo ratio, right? Click that. By all cores. <laughs> By all cores. Can adjust in OS. Yes. <laughs> this is just like the Artemis episode, except for in the end, you're going to get better frames per second on all your games. Yeah. Captain, it calms down. Oh my god. I'm going over 9,000 with, with my cores. <laughs> no, here we go. Um, I dare you to type in 50. Just straight up type in 50. Why? I dare you. Why? Why? What's. I double dog dare you. You're five I gigahertz. Dog that's dare why. You. No one's ever five, five gigahertz, years. Sam. You reach out and touch the face of God. Yeah. <laughs> 42. Perfect. Your CPU clock gen filter, you want that enabled? In auto. No, enable it. Oh, enabled. Your memory runs at a cer certain frequency, and when you change all these numbers and all these multipliers, it also changes the clock of the memory. So we have to adjust the frequency of the memory to match ideally what's supposed to be coming out of the factory. Sweet. So in this case, Sam, 1600 megahertz will do you fine. Yeah, that's what I was thinking too. Perfect. <laughs> I'm glad to see you're on the same page. Your power saving mode, is that enabled? Heck no. Why don't you enable that? Well, what if my computer slows down? It won't. <laughs> but you want to do the OC tuner? Uh, don't the Orange County tuner. Don't worry about that for now. <laughs> is that like radio down in like Southern California? Yeah, it's, it's like some bad DJs. This right, is mostly so, like sublime. Right. Yeah, mostly. <laughs> Look at <on> Digi Plus <laughs> call control. Yo, all right. My Digi was, was a little lacking, so let's access Digi Plus. So. All right, I'm just going to read settings to you. This, CPU okay, load. I'm just going to warn everyone that this might not be how your BIOS works. So. <laughs> oh. <laughs> so this is only for this specific motherboard. However, core concepts are the same. Sam, your CPU load line calibration, set it to medium. All right, on set, it. Set your current capability. Wait, whoa, 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 whoa. There's ultra high and extreme. extreme. No, medium. But we, when we play games, we set medium. all the settings to extreme. Your current capability, 
100. Whoa, whoa. What 100, happens when you go to 140? It well, it's red. red. 140 yeah, don't do red. that. Don't, don't go to All the right. red. CPU V core boot up voltage is on auto? Yes. How about your VCCSA load line calibration? On automatic, sir. Why don't you put that on regular? <laughs> whoa. Switching but to regular. this also has an experience. Okay, your VCCSA current capability, 120%? Uh, running at 100%, uh, increasing 120%. Nice. That's what I like to hear. Yo, who's controlling your power duty? Um, the T-probe is. That's Terrence like probe is. Uh, <laughs> Terrence probe. <laughs> Yo, <laughs> power phase, is it optimized? Uh, no, it's on automatic, sorry. I'm gonna optimize that. And it's like, here's your choice. One, optimized. This is like, this is a setting that's like, a better, it's like they could just literally call it better <laughs> setting. Why, like, why, why would you why do, never choose why that? Why doesn't it just come pre-optimized? <laughs> what, what, what am I gonna do with the voltage frequency? It's currently running on automatic. That's how I like it. Nice, <laughs> me too. Nico, do you have any idea what any of this stuff means, or did you vaguely. just look this up? Uh, the person kind of explained it. Who's All the, right, the so per, you mean the, 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 the person on the who's internet? Who's, who's, who's the, the person? Web, Terrence Power? The webmaster of the web page <laughs> yeah. I went to. No, the, it's the, <laughs> Terrence, Terrence Probe. Terrence, Terrence Probe. Probe. <laughs> All right, so we've got Sam's frequency multiplier. Oh my god, it's changing. Turned up to 42. Yeah. But his V-core has not yet been raised. Nope. Time to raise it. All right, raise it. Now we're going to do it with offset mode. All okay, right, yeah, so let's go there's on. two different ways you can turn up the V-core in this computer. V-core saying for... Virtual core, duh. <laughs> duh. Uh, <laughs> voltage. <coughs> core, maybe? No, V-core voltage. Core so virtual voltage. core voltage. It's just the Chinese version of saying core voltage. That's racist, Nico. Yeah, that was a racist, Nico. Racism, Nico. Well, no, like, you know, in, like, in French and Spanish, you, like, you switch the adjectives around out of order. Nico, Instead of, Nico, like, Freddy is car, here. It's a car pink. Freddy's right I'm like here, right Nico. here, Nico. So we have two ways we can set the voltage. One is just by manually typing it in. The other one is to give it offset mode. You've got a fancy motherboard with a fancy processor, and when you're not using a computer at its maximum power, which is never. pretty much never, but sometimes it happens, like when you let your girlfriend on it. On Pinterest and like looking at recipes, right? Yeah. Right, guys, guys. Twelve windows right. of Minecraft simultaneously <laughs> running. That's when you want to let your uh, your voltage drop back down, so you don't run hot. So anyways, we're gonna keep it in offset mode, so that way you can flip back and forth between high settings and like girlfriend settings. Dude, we are pushing the limits of this computer now. Like this is like, I'm on the edge of my seat. <laughs> when you're getting really deep into like your computer's like electricity parts, um, <laughs> that's the proper term for it, by the way. Uh, there's more than just CPU V core to worry about. And you can actually fine tune a lot of different stuff. Um, it's not always your CPU not getting enough voltage that causes crashes. And so that's where there's a whole range of things that come into play. But for now, this will be good. So step two, your computer has booted, hopefully. Now here's what you gotta do. You gotta run a program that's gonna give you your temps of your cores, and my favorite program for doing that is Core Temp. Core Temp. <laughs> Look at this right here, it's I got it going. Booted. Yep, we're gonna take this up to a max temp of 78 degrees Celsius. And it's 81 is the one you gotta stay away 91. from? 91. 91, oh well, dude. Why do you not just get it up in the mid 80s? Uh, because that's like on a hot day in the summer, that's why. Hot day in the summer is in Fahrenheit, Nico, not Celsius. <laughs> and then you're going to need to max out those CPUs to stress them. My favorite program for that is Prime 95. After we get this optimized, we're going to actually get to the games and, and go in and see what kind of frame rates we get once we optimize our computer, but we're not going to do that without our processor maxed out. So we started at 3.2 gigahertz and now we're testing out 4.2 gigahertz, right? 4.2 4 gigahertz. 2? So that's an Testing entire gigahertz. More than we paid for. It's good Which is how I like it. You're right, taking it for free. Yes. Take what they give you. What, what are we doing if, if your computer does catch fire? Uh, fire extinguisher, do the trick. Oh, let's blend these tests. <laughs> Running. Uh, 1.34. How hot are we going? 1.34, One. sounds about right. 1.344, still 1.35. We'll see how good Sam's cooling solution is. <laughs> I tell you, one of my friends once, he did a liquid cooling solution on his computer, and I go to his room, and it smells like just like coolant. I'm like, what is going on? And he had like a, a, a pump like into an open like recycling bin like next to his computer full of coolant, and then another tube back into the computer, <laughs> and I was just exposed out oh in the middle God. of the room. It's, it's the, He's like, the dude, I can, I can run Quake 2 so fast now. It's like you wanna know how I really test out your computer, though? Crisis? Super Pi. You see how fast your computer can calculate one million digits of Pi. It's like in Fast and Furious, it's like, you owe me a 10 second car. It's like, you owe me a five second million digit calculating Pi computer, and you go. <laughs> This is the fastest computer Sam has ever touched right now. Sam has literally set his personal record for the highest gigahertz. How do you know that? 
No, I know, I know, no, that's... Friends. Okay, friends. hold on, wait, 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 wait. <laughs> Have you guys touched a faster computer than a 4.5 gigahertz computer? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, I mean, it's right here, if you wanna. <laughs> Let's play some games on this. So full maximum settings on Battlefield 3, we're running at 85-ish frames per second. It's pretty impressive them frapsing this game on top of it running at like a 360. You know what? I'm gonna try to do that. Let's see. Jeez, it's crisp and clear. I forgot how to play this game. <laughs> Completely. I, I played this game for like a solid 80 hours and then I forgot everything about it instantly somehow. But uh, this is running at a solid 60. I'm frapsing in Skyrim, managing to get a pretty solid 60 at the same time. That's pretty good. Of course. Um, something's wrong. I think I'm in like maybe a cutscene. Let's just see what happens with this little thing right here. This little thing I like to call biggest explosion ever made known to man. Whoa. Can you imagine if you had this when you were a kid? That would be good. <laughs> I'm actually yeah, pretty impressed. Yeah, locked to 60 right there, no problem. Didn't drop at all. Go get right. another town. This town Destroy is completely. toast. Destroy Just that town. All right, there we go. Dude, save is. this. Save this. Let it rip! Recording? Yeah. Here we go. Go up, go, you have to run with it. Good shot. Good shot. <laughs> <laughs> Imagining. Oh, here we go! Here we go! Oh! <laughs> we should have done overclocking birthday where we find someone random and just go and like overclock their family computer. <laughs> find someone whose birthday it is. Let's go. No, we overclock it too far. <laughs> they burn down their house. <laughs> and they're like, they, they have one last beautiful moment where they're playing Battlefield 3 at like 200 frames per second and they like, they can die peacefully in the, in the flames. <laughs>